Take your meat and place it into your bunt pan surrounded by your lasagna noodles. Now, regular lasagna has officially been canceled. This is 2023. We live in the future. It's time to make your lasagna in a bunt pan. Yes, you heard that right. Go over here, as you can see, take some more pieces of lasagna and it's time to layer it. Just take those extra sheets of lasagna, lay them down right over there to make a nice separation. Then over here into your ricotta, just take an egg, crack it right into there, followed by a little bit of salt, a hefty amount of freshly cracked pepper, stir that up. You just wanna mix it up until your egg is fully combined. That'll allow it to thicken, get nice and rich. Mix, 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 mix. Now that is gonna be the second layer, okay? On the bottom, we have our plant-based protein. I just did some delicious impossible meat that I cooked out with some onions and garlic. So this recipe is 100% vegetarian. Ricotta goes down there, beautiful. Then I'm gonna to top that with our Asiago cheese. This is gonna be nice and sharp. Oh, look at that. You want a nice, thick, thick, cheesy layer. Then go back in there with even more of our impossible meat. Just take that and spread it all throughout there. Look at that, all these beautiful, beautiful, delicious layers. Then take even more noodles. I'm gonna place that here. And then we're gonna have one more layer. That one more layer is gonna be our bottom cheese layer. This is just our mozzarella. And look at that, I want a thick mozzarella layer. You wanna get that to be gooey. You want that cheese to pull. Take all that cheese, lay that down. Then look at this, you're just gonna take your ends of those noodles, lay them over top, and that is gonna form the bottom crust to this giant bun pan lasagna. Oh my God, look at that, it's like a perfect little package. Just sealed it up right over there, and now this bad boy is ready to go into the oven. My oven's at 375, I'm now just gonna pop this in, and this should now bake for about 30 to 50 minutes. It'll really depend on your oven, but you want it to be golden brown on top, it's gonna be gooey and cooked on the inside. All right, it's been a while. I covered it with tin foil, cause I think it was overcooking a bit, but, if you look over here, dun dun dun. I mean, oh, let's say, wait, I'm gonna shut up. Wow, that sounds good. I can let it cool for a second and then we'll dump it out and give it a try. All right, take this, ready for it, and bam. Just upside down, give it a shake. <laughs> look at that. Imagine you pull up to the local party and you have this to serve. Now, I wish this part didn't break, but I mean, this part is perfectly intact. Yeah. Okay, it's definitely a little crunchy on the bottom, which is probably not ideal, but come on, let's just break right through that, break through the crunch. Here we go. Now look at that. Okay, it's a little messy, but I mean, aren't all lasagnas a little bit messy? Aren't you messy? I'm messy. Mm. Oh my God. The plant-based meat sauce is nice and hearty. Give the cheesiness from the mozzarella and the ricotta. I'm telling you, it might look crazy, but this is absolutely delicious.